Today is Monday, January 4th, 2016, and this rant is in response to Dr. Paul Krugman's article in the New York Times on Monday, January 4th, 2016, Elections Have Consequences. Now, before I even get into it, to me, Dr. Krugman is basically taking a dig at Bernie Sanders supporters. I'll get into that in just a minute, basically indicating that if you want someone to be elected and you don't get your choice, don't stick your nose up in the air. Go headstrong behind your can behind the party's t candidate. So Dr. Krugman points out that the nerd that he is that it, during last week between Christmas and New Year's, the IRS 2013 tax cap tables came out, and he was able to look at them because that's what he does. And uh, he likes to, wants to point out a couple things. That number one, uh, that lately it seems as if. Uh, especially people on the left, uh, have been minimizing the differences between the party. And the reason they minimize the differences between the party is because if you're not as left as them, all right, then there really isn't that much of a difference between, uh, let's say, those who are on the far, far left and then, then those who are in the Republican parties, meaning that if Bernie is not elected, then guess what? Uh, the corporatists win out and we all lose. But again, Dr. Krugman points out elections have consequences, and in 2008 and 2012, because Obama was elected in 2008, we got the Affordable Care Act, and because of the and because Obama got elected in 2012, it wasn't cut out by the by the by the Republicans, and it actually became law. And when he looked into the tax tables from IRS in 2013, what he found there was because remember. Uh, there were some uh, when Obama got reelected in 2012, he let some of the Bush tax cuts expire, and those were the ones for the most wealthy. So the people in the one percent had an effective tax increase because of what Obama did in 2012, of um, about four percent increase in their taxes. I believe it was like 35.6 percent to 39.6, something like that. And then those at the top one-tenth of one percent effectively had a tax increase of about six and a half percent. And what does all that mean? Well, basically it means uh, that because Obama got reelected, because he let the, the Bush tax cuts for the wealthy lapse, and because of the Affordable Care Act, which also had some taxes on the wealthy, the U.S. coffers were able to increase by about $70 billion, and that that is the equivalent of, of funding food stamps and funding some of the outlays of the Affordable Care Act, if not all of the outlays of the Affordable Care Act. So those two, two elections, those, consequent, those, those elections had severe consequences, especially for the 17 million people who are now employed, uh, excuse me, uh, insured uh, through the ACA and through Medicaid because of Obama's. Now, uh, remember, if Obama had lost in 2012, not only would the ACA be out, not the, all that tax money also would be out. So we would be seeing decreases in food stamps, uh, decreases in a lot of other things. And remember, uh, the Affordable Care Act was not the only thing that the uh, Republicans were predicting. Remember, the Affordable Care Act, according to the Republicans, was going to fall under its, uh, uh, collapse under its own weight and was going to be a job killer. We've seen over 8 million new jobs created in the Obama administration. That's above the fact that for the first several months that we were in free fall and losing up to four, six, eight hundred thousand 800,000 jobs per month. So technically, uh, Obama's created over 10 million jobs, but effectively it's only been 8 million during his administration because of the high unemployment when he first came in. And remember, the Republicans were also increasing, uh, uh, indicating that there would be huge increases in gas prices if Obama got reelected, that there would be huge losses on the stock market if Obama got elected, that the economy will collapse if Obama gets elected. So all of these things didn't happen at all. And, you know, you can complain about what's going on, but it certainly it would be a heck of a lot different if a Republican had been uh, elected. And this is where Dr. Krogan ends up in indicating to me that's a direct dig at Bernie Sanders supporters, clearly indicating to them, you know, you think that everything is going to suck <laughs> if Bernie is not elected. Uh, and of course, at the same time, a lot of those people who are on the far left are very disappointed with Ob what Obama has done. 
But Obama has done so, so, so much more than anything any Republican would have remotely done. You know, so Obama has been a tremendous success uh, considering all of the liabilities that were brought in when he first came in and the complete intransience of the Republican Party to do wanted to do anything uh, to help the average working American. Uh, so this is a direct dig at Bernie Sanders and basically is indicating, uh, hey, you know, you need to, you need to, if, if Bernie is not going to be elected, you need to get dead set behind Hillary and take her all the way and then continue to push her to the left after the election.